So we join wave close better to have ended officially and a lot of people have their own opinion. Some people said the game is good. Some people have mixed opinion and some people are disappointed in some system of the wizarding wave. And a lot of content creators are doom posting the game, some are not. Now before we start the video, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, put a notification on, and put a like, and comment down below what do you say. Don't forget to follow me on twitch.tv slash alexdefern, that would be great. And so let's begin. So I made a Reddit post about Wizarding Wave, uh, about their opinion about Wizarding Wave, and I said that my I did like overall. The only issue is that the game have a bad co-op where you can't really fight with friend on a bug because it block you. And so there's a lot of people saying their own opinion, and we are going one per one depending if they are relevant or not. Let's begin. Let, the first guy called Kitchen Air 1012, he said that no game is perfect. So I would not say that Wizarding Wave is a perfect state, but the game has all the ground work for that perfect world up in Gacha. And uh, he, that what he's been waiting. For the mention that he didn't like the complexity of the leveling of your record, it's a recipe for burnout, and it's not that it takes time, it's the fact that you can spend a lot of time and end up with nothing because of the extreme RNG. A second thing I didn't like is the low mob density, density in a game where you find uh, where you form the open world mob have low density it's a counter entity basically there's not that a lot of mob from what i understand which i do agree sometime in the open world it feel empty another thing that need improvement are the font and the menu the font and menu should be identify uh, identifiable and wizard and wave have exclusive to give them a unique feel now they look generic, so the UI look generic, Th these are the main point I feel like they need to work on, other than that, the game look amazing. Now Jake G9488 said, it's severely lacking, lacking in poly and sharp to be fair, uh, to be honest. The story stood through endless exposition, dump dumping that somehow managed to make even Genshin look concise in its story then. This could be due to incomplete or rough localization. I saw plenty of typo and strangely illogical dialogue, progression, but none of the of the characters feel like they really had interesting or different personality. They're all just nice, I guess. Which I do agree that some characters are just feel nice, they don't have any personality. I think they need to fix that other unique personality like i i hate comparing but genshin uh, character have their own personality like take uh, yaimiko she's um a fox girl and she have a very wow unique personality she's very cunning very smart in its own way and you can understand their personality through their dialogue and the way they do but in Wizard and Wave, they all feel too nice, which is true. The overworld itself suffers from this personality crisis as well. It looks and feels extremely uh, video gamey as opposed to a live world with mystery and secret. I hate to make comparison, but this is something that Genshin does extremely well. Uh, it's a uh, region flow into different biome in ways that feel natural, organic, and could believe it. Uh, and could believably sustain the populace, you see. By comparison, the region in Wuwa feel very pro procedurally generated, which town and city just kind of slapped down without any logical 
transition. It feels like it exists just to justify the game being an open world, rather than open world being the driven force of the game design. Hopefully they give it time to curb because the combat is kind of fun, it just doesn't have anything currently to grip with the world and character, which is true. The open world kind of lacks some, uh, some kind of alive feeling. It's just there, basically, and it needs to be fixed. The game needs a CBT tree for the amount of things that either need an improvement or a re reward, like the ecosystem. And combat, like intro and outro skill, make it music related or just being bad concerto. I bet with improved impact. Four stars are better than five stars. Too much black and white, both for the already released character and for the leaks character showed on the main coin and they need to redesign some character a little bit like Verena. So if you don't know what happened to Verena, so basically what happened on Verena, on the right side is the reward character, they made her a bit more alive and on the left side she looked bland and so what he meant is that some characters need to be unique like Verena in that right side of the picture and uh, I do agree with that <coughs> some character doesn't have unique clothing it feels generic but I can understand his opinion some character don't have interesting personality and other don't have any which is true they remove post-apocalyptic located from the game and replaced with grass question mark I don't know about TBT1, I wasn't there, but if that true, then it's kind of disappointing. Because here, then again, Wizarding Wave was meant to be a post apocalyptic, it's a post apocalyptic game. And so making it more alive doesn't feel, uh, doesn't feel like a post apocalyptic game. But then again, they did listen to the community and made it more alive. This is the last because uh, of the Chinese regulation, only last test that allowed to have resort and a CBT2 they already have it on CN. Well, they have to be quick. The other minor thing like UI, font, glide, slow, word empty, localization, lack of hit and parry uh, satisfaction, which is true, Jolly Falcon. I went to CBT2 with the goal of testing Wuhua on its own merit and not comparing it to Genshin. That was my point as well. Then we were first the Genshin comparison on me since almost everything except the combat is a direct derivative of a Genshin system. Which I do agree on that. We were made a couple small tweaks to the Genshin formula for exploration, character step, progression, the repeatable in-game and the gacha system. Okay, the hologram bars are an amazing challenge but there are one and done. The roguelike, roguelike need two or more extra difficulty level to be unchallenged. After the first week or two, only the tower looks to be continually replayable. Difficulty content, and that is the most gentle like end game content they made. And Porco Traverse are the biggest triumph of the CBT. They built Joe's system from the ground up instead of just copying and tweaking, which is true. That great. The ecosystem is a couple of cents away from being great, which I do agree. Overall, there's a lot of polish needed. The parkour and the camera are constantly janking or buggy. The English localization wasn't finished, but what exactly was poorly written, confusing, and often outright wrong. Even with all the men, uh, even with all the negative I mentioned about, we was incredibly fun because it is carried by its combat system and good boss design. I just wish they had taken more risks and made their other game system more unique. Kuro designed Wuwa to post as many players from Genshin as possible, but it remains to be seen if it will have the parties and staying power to keep those players. The Gacha system though is not really the same as Genshin. Some are, some are not. The thing is that I would say the Gacha system is better than Genshin and a bit better than Hankai story. It just it have a beginner banner where you can get a five star character 
the weapon banner is guaranteed and the standard weapon banner you can select the weapon you want. Top priority improve eco gear. Second priority thing to improve is the character balance. Everything else I think it can be fixed or improved over time. On release it's like CBT2 or it's but over time but if it echo gear on release it's like CBT it's rover which um from what he meant is that the echo will destroy the game which I kind of I kind of understand that I'm gonna go deep into that after one interesting thing about two people said that host is bad but the reality <clears throat> is there are a lot of good host and every game Album etc have bad track, but the reality what people want to mean is their bad music direction I doubt this will be fixed on release My theory of why a lot of people say that host is bad is because the exploration is so fast and there's no time to hear To the open world host and people get into the next fight too fast and the common battle team is kind of me so and the problem with Echo, from what I've seen, is that it have a lot of substat. And what I mean by that is that when you level up your Echo gear, it will give you substat, but you have to unlock it. You have to grind for it. Basically, you have to spend your energy to get those material to open and get a random substat. And those substat have like 12 substat. Of RNG, so they they have quite a lot of things. So you have a less chance of getting in the sub that and the sub that of what you want. And I feel like maybe they should to make it better. They should maybe add a reroll sub stat or something around that. But yeah, I can agree that the echoes seem really grindy. Now this one is gonna be the last one. Or two last one. I can predict the future. The game is gonna be popular for two months. Then start dying after s saying that they are gonna make improvement, even though they might not come out right away. After that, the game will not be as popular as it was already, but will start gaining players that are gonna stay. After six months, we have stable player base, but of course, not gonna be as big as Genshin in store, which. I can understand his prediction because the game is released in literally two months apparently, I don't know. But overall, most of people seem to agree that the top priority that they need to fix and that they did not lie is the echo. The ecosystem needs a lot of fix because it have way too many RNG, way too many substat. It have like 12 substat, which is a lot. That's the priority one. The priority too is to make it more alive in the open world. Sometimes it feel empty, not a lot of monster, and not a lot of beautiful quality stuff in there to discover. It's just there apparently. The third one is the character. The character design look kind of generic. They don't look unique, as you can see. The after look more unique. And before, as you can see how unique it is, people want those kind of character, not like on the before. So that's one of the reasons as well. That are the three main things that they want. The fourth one is people are complaining about the UI. The menu, the main menu is to generate and they want it to be unique for uh, Wizarding Wave so they can recognize that, oh, this is from Wizarding Wave. That's all I have to say about what the community in Wizarding Wave Global think about Wizarding Wave Close Beta. If you did enjoy this video, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Put a like as well. Activate the notification bell on. And don't forget to follow me on twitch.tv slash Alex Dappen. And one last thing, comment down below what do you think of that. Close better too. I will take my time to read it. We will see you next time. Bye bye, YouTube.